Hey guys, this is Joe with J Phoenix Music, and today we're going to be talking about Lover by Taylor Swift. Let's check it out. Thank you so much for checking out the most recent video of my video series. I'm back after a hiatus. Speaking of hiatus, that's the song coming out. I'll talk about it. But I'm finally doing videos. Uh, it's been really busy. It's been great. I've been working on mixing projects, mastering projects. I mean, mixing and mastering, whatever. Um, and then composition and all that good stuff. So I'm super excited to be back to doing this. I'm going to put another video out on Wednesday. So i uh, excited to keep you guys posted on what's going on. Also, be sure to follow me at jphoenixmusic on Instagram. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, all that good stuff. And I look forward to sharing with you all the cool stuff that's coming up. A couple quick announcements. Azalea came out, a song they did with Haley for our uh, Jay the Second collaboration. And I love the song. It's one of my favorite songs that I've produced. It's a cool, like, dark, moody house track. And it's great. It's already gotten reposted by, like, Blaze U, um, Tomorrow Latino, I think was one, and then um, Grisha, Grisha Music, uh, which you can check on my Instagram. But I'll be posting. There's a few other blogs that are going to be writing about it, which I'm really excited about, which is cool. And then, um, but yeah, that came out um, last week and feel free to stream it on any platform, Spotify, all that good stuff. I'm also doing a remix for Prime. Uh, I'm actually gonna finish that up tonight and uh, he's gonna be putting out on the 11th, I think it is, or the 12th, I forget. I'm gonna put it in the bottom, but I forget. But Prime's a really cool artist in New York. He heard my music and he wanted me to remi uh, remix one of his songs. And uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out and I'm just kind of adjusting the final notes and um, can't wait to show you guys. Also, I'm actually doing another cover with Ia. It's a trap-inspired remix of the Adams Family, which no one asked for, but I was like, it'd be cool. Because uh, Ia was like, you know, do you want to do a uh, cover of the Adams Family? And I'm like, I don't want to just redo it. And I'm like, you know, why not? Let me like, I like a challenge. Let me like make a trap remix of it. So that's going to be coming out this week. And I'm excited to uh, share with you that um, when it comes out. And then also uh, Ia's shooting a video to it. Uh, which I'm in and I'm excited to see how it turns out, but I'm sure it's gonna be great. I'm sure there's other stuff that I'm forgetting, but those are the things that come to mind right now. Uh, I'm gonna keep you guys posted on my Instagram and Facebook and all that good stuff. But yeah, it's been great. I've actually um, been beefing up kind of my software and that kind of stuff as far as what I work with. And um, it's nice because, you know, I've been getting like uh, requests to do mixing and mastering and uh, recording, which I've always done, but people are like really liking what I'm doing. Because um, I always mix and master my own stuff and you know when you're just like starting out it's like oh like mixing and mastering is like this process and like you know you got to go to a professional whatever um, But you know for me, I'm just like I was like learning stuff and I have like a particular idea like with how things should happen So I was like let me just kind of teach myself a little bit more and sure enough I'm getting actually people who want me to not only mix and master this stuff But like you know like when I said prime who I've never met uh, wanted me to do a remix of one of the songs I thought that was super awesome that I reached out so uh, I've been blessed. I'm getting a lot of cool projects and I'm excited to be kind of taking the reins on all these like random things that are being thrown my way and uh, just becoming a better music producer from it. So I'm um, excited to share it with you guys. And uh, like I said, I'll be doing this video series too. Keep you guys posted. So Lovers is a song by Taylor Swift, obviously. And uh, it's a cool song. I actually really like it. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of Taylor Swift. Um, just like how I'm not, I mean, I'm like, I respect Taylor Swift and I respect like Adele. I, I just don't like whiny singer songwriters where they just whine about their relationships and I know some people need it to like get through whatever and like for me it's like whenever I'm like in a complicated or depressing situation I'd rather listen to upbeat music and not like wallow in like music complaining about but um but yeah Lover's a cool song uh, I really like the orchestration and uh it's also a song that we covered uh Ian and I covered in a video that we already put out which is why I'm talking about it so this is actually one of the songs on Taylor Swift's album that she wrote really quickly and I thought it was cool because she was she she essentially like sat at the piano and then she wrote it and it came to her like you know in a matter of like a night I think and she wrote before she was meeting with her producer Jack Antonoff and the engineer and it was cool because you know you have these it's like when you write songs or at least I don't know if you've written songs but uh, I've written songs and sometimes like it'll take a while because you're collaborating with somebody and it won't be difficult but it just you know you have to work at it but other times like I've definitely been in that situation where like you'll just write a song it'll just come out and for whatever reason you put the sections like you know that are going to be there and then everything around it just kind of works out really quickly and uh and this was one of those songs which i thought was kind of cool to figure out as far as the song i love how it's a 12 8 ballad essentially um it reminds me of love on the brain which is a really cool song that came out but this whole throwback of like kind of jazz instrumentation uh, i thought was really great um acoustic instruments obviously i really like and anything jazz in pop i'm like you know I, i'm always happy when stuff like that comes out but yeah it was a great song the lyrics were good and, um, and it inspired me a lot to kind of bring my own little flair um, in that style to the remix or the cover that I did with Ia. And, uh, and I hope more songs like this come out because I like the whole instrumentation, like, you know, the at least the live feel of instruments. 
and um, it's just nice to hear like more musicality and pop music. As far as what I wanted to bring to the production, uh, I already really liked it being a 12-8 ballad, so I didn't want to change like the like the style. But I definitely, especially for me, like I obviously like making things more dynamic, and that's like my thing. Especially when it's like this ball in like in this ballpark, I'm like I want to like definitely beef it up. Uh, so like I ended up adding some brass, um, which you know, I felt like some nice little like brass, you know, uh, brass stabs or whatever. Um, and then I also like changed the chords at the end, which is like my favorite part of the song, um, because you know like the chords were cool, but I felt like kind of building it um, as far as like you know building it as a jazz band, then reducing it to like this really like intimate guitar, uh, playing these different chords. Um, I thought it brought a lot more emotion to it, um, because for me like you know especially if you are gonna like you know dip your toe into like having it like acoustic and being a ballad and like jazzy, like why not like elevate it even more by changing the chord structure a little bit, especially especially if you want to bring that extra lift like towards the end uh, because even Taylor Swift was talking about how like you know she wanted to build up the bridge or whatever and um, and how I wanted to do it with uh, come ready with Ia is like kind of build that um, that chord change where you have like that you know different half stuff I forget exactly what the chords were um, but I'll probably put it in the bottom or whatever but yeah for me I wanted to kind of elevate the instrumentation by bringing more instruments and also add that chord change to really like stab you at the end um, obviously positively and emotionally goodly <laughs> so yeah no, I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching the most recent video of my video series. Uh, I really appreciate it. I'm going to be doing these more. I'm going to put out another one on Wednesday uh, for the Adams Family cover that I did with Ia. But it's nice to be back on it. Uh, I want to be more diligent, especially now that I'm getting more gigs. I have a little bit more time, but I'm just wrapping up like this last batch of projects um, just because it kind of piled up. But now I'm finally getting out of it in a good way. And uh, I'm excited to kind of share what's coming up. And I'm excited to take it with me. Thanks again. Make sure to follow me at Jay Phoenix Music, and you can always check out everything that I'm up to on jphoenixmusic.com. <laughs>